No pressure, guys. It's going to be a pain. <laughs> All right, what are you thinking right now? Big win, BC. What's going on? Um, just kind of we knew going into it that we could beat any team in this country. And coming after last night kind of slipped away from us. And just getting this one at home feels pretty good. Well, what do you guys think makes your uh, PK work so well? I just think preparation, really. Um, we've been practicing pretty hard since uh, the beginning of the season. And uh, I think we got our systems down pretty well. And uh, I think that goes straight into the game. Can you just talk a little bit about your line? I know you played with Elliot for a while back in juniors, too. But you guys have really oh, you've played together last year, played together this year, and have been one of the best lines the team's had, I think. Yeah, I, I think our line works pretty good. I think we're a pretty hard working, working line. So um, I think we, we know our role. and. Uh, we get we get what we need to get done. Done. So. Anyone else? How much confidence does a win like that give you guys? I thought um, last night's game gave us a little confidence as well to go into uh, the defending national champion uh, barn on banner night and play as well as we did. Um, but we love playing here, that's for sure. We love playing in front of our, our students. Uh, we're getting more and more alums back. Uh, I can't think of too many games over the last 18 months where we haven't played with confidence here. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about Joe again? I mean, we talked about it last night, but uh, certainly once again, I think, had a, had a really great game for you guys. You know, you want you want your goalie to, to stop the ones that hit him, and we've got a... a Sort of a propensity for recruiting big goalies, so hopefully a lot hit them. But uh, I mean, you get to a point in the game with Joe where you just know it's gonna—it's not gonna happen. Nobody's gonna beat him, you know. Um, and he's been the 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 step up in maturity level, uh, just in terms of his preparation and hard work, and you know, and then to have the confidence tonight to handle the puck after what happened last night. I thought he did made some great decisions, did a good job. Um, you know, our, our players gave him the hard hat award tonight. I think he was deserving. <coughs> Tell us about the uh, the team's uh, hard work on all aspects of the uh, in the defensive zone. Well, I thought we <coughs> I thought we did a much better job in the first and in the third than we did the second. I thought in the second period, you know, there are, there are regions in the ice we want to attack, and there are regions in the ice where we can attack. Um, situations on the ice where we can attack and one of them is in the defensive zone with the parts of the corner we need to outnumber them and I thought we were a little bit lazy I thought our wingers were a little bit casual um, we, we did a good job in the middle of the rink to force them to dump pucks and you know we've got to we've got to attack in those instances and we thought we got away from it but all in all pretty good effort and then like I said I thought we did our, you know maybe not our best in the third but it was better than the second for sure. Can you comment on the special teams game tonight those power play goals were pretty big? Yeah you know, uh, it, both sides of it, and um, we uh, stopped our celebration a little bit in the locker room to recognize both Glenn Stewart and, and Phil Roy, who work, you know, who are responsible for the penalty kill and, and uh, power play, respectively, and uh, the, the work they do. At the end of the day, the players make the plays, but they put a lot of work in to, to you know, the schemes and uh, adjustments in between periods, because BC made some adjustments in their power play, and we just, we had it covered, so... Yeah, you know, they, they, they scored two on us last night. We got one, we scored two on them tonight. They got one, so they go on. You don't want to put them on the power play too often, that's for sure. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the Mats and Sheen Flanagan line. You know, they play together for a while. I know Sheen and, and, and Matson play together, even in juniors, a little yeah. bit together. But uh, they seem to have really come together from last year, even in this yeah. year, have been one of your better lines. Yeah, I thought, I thought they were one of, our best, I mean, one of our best lines all weekend. I mean, they can all skate. You know, they all bring a little bit something to the to the table. Cheener is like the Energizer Bunny, you know, and Carter is almost right there with him in terms of, of skating and, and uh, sees the ice and, and wins face-offs, big ones tonight he did, I thought. And uh, and then Flanny's the X Factor, um, you know, and I'll, I'll refer to him as the X Factor. Uh, he's a character, he plays hard, um, you know, and, and I, I'm really... I challenged him at the beginning of the year this year, and, and he's, he hasn't disappointed so far. He's playing hard and staying out of the box. And, uh, I mean, my only gripe with him now is his celebrations, uh, <laughs> which is why he didn't get the player of the match from me. But uh, I say that in jest. He's done a real good job, and, and that line is, 
really giving us a third option. Fans chanting, this is our house, how does that make you and your players feel? A lot of work's gone into that, you know, a lot of work's gone into that. Um, you know, it's, uh, we're making this place a point of pride for the, the college, for the students, and, um, you know, it's great. Alright guys, thanks. I thought uh, we got just what we expect out of Merrimack. You know, they're a very good team, and uh, historically they've been excellent uh, at Volpe. And I thought we are, uh, and they performed a check mark on both those tasks. They were again a very formidable, formidable team at Volpe, and they were they were a good hockey team. There's no question. Uh, dating back to late last year, they were uh, eyelash away from getting into the guard to be to three games. Uh, I was very impressed with the team. They, they won the special teams battle. You know, they had uh, two two power play goals to our one. Uh, they were good. They were good in all aspects of the game. It's a very good hockey team. How do you feel about your t team uh, with the constant uh, attack they had towards the end of the third? Well, they had a five on three, which certainly gave a lot of momentum. Uh, I thought when we closed it to the one goal. Uh, Brian Gibbons got a great play behind the net there, uh, the cutback, and we were, we were tight there. Then it was our, we just had a uh, kind of a breakdown in that fourth goal where we, were, we had a, a pretty good rush going. We turned it over, and they came back and stormed the net, uh, scored on a rebound. But they have a good club. They are, I was impressed both nights with the club. How did this game sort of differ from, from last night's game? Pretty similar, I thought. Pretty similar game. You know, last night was a one goal game our way, and basically tonight was a you know one two goal game yeah. their way. But teams at this stage, late October, very very close. I think. Is there anything you've learned about your team tonight? Yeah, we've had our, our trouble scoring goals all year, and it's, it, we haven't solved that puzzle yet. Uh, except for one game against Denver, we scored six goals. We've been scoring two, one, three. Uh, so our goal scoring is uh, something we have to address. We have to get better at to go to win games. You tell us, tell your squad after a tough loss like that. You know, we just uh, have to learn from it, and uh, we have to get better. Our expectations are certainly a lot higher, and uh, we're not meeting them.